Yo, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the whole Sabertooth Sasquatch Synergy Fury passive debacle that's been going on all day. It's about 8 o'clock at night now for me. And you know, I woke up today and I woke up to screenshots of all this and it's like throughout the day like it just kept progressively changing and then I voiced my thoughts and opinions in the Sasquatch feedback for the CCP uh, about the synergy, what I think it should be. Karate Mike said, people were just throwing around solutions, ideas. Karate Mike said he thinks it should be captured around like 25. Uh, There's some other ideas thrown around. I was like, yeah, I agree with Karate Mike, like 25 would be pretty good. So I was very interested to see what they were actually gonna do. And the night before, actually last night I asked, uh, and I don't know if this had, I mean, they're gonna answer it either way, but I, I just was curious because Brian's video and I was really curious what they were to actually do. So I just asked, so what's the plan with the Sabertooth Synergy? You know, like, is it being changed? Like what's going on? So, uh, so this is where it all starts. So bam, like there's a whole thread here and he says, I'm checking on this Sabertooth description clearly calls out Sabertooth cannot convert his passive fury effects while fighting if he has uh, 15 or more permanent passive fury effects active. So I don't know what is happening here. Now this is true. This is what it says. It says while fighting. Now this is the key phrasing here because while you're fighting, you cannot gain more than 15, but if you end the fight with two Fury buffs, with the Synergy, uh, after throwing an L3, uh, and you end the fight, then you're gonna get to 17, and you can keep getting two, and two, and two, like this way. And it's technically correct because you're not fighting when you're gaining these two. The fight's over, it's in between fights. So I mean, it's, it's functioning the way that it should be functioning according to how the description was written. And uh, this is as re this is true as well. In the spotlight, it is specifically mentioned by a dev uh, that you can close the fight with special three and go over the fifteen fury threshold, which is true. Now, originally, this was this was actually called a bug. I saw a picture of it being called a bug, and so it's it's not a bug. So, uh, and then here we have a good call out, but I don't think it was ever intended for him to get to fifty. It might be wrong, but the team is looking into it. So let's let's just keep reading together. Um, I'm one person. They never realize they can 15. I'm one person that doesn't know the ends and out of Sabretooth, so let's take it down a notch. There are over 150 champions, and as mentioned, I'm waiting to hear back from the designer and team about this. This is true, man. I didn't know Sabretooth could go. I, I have, I've never played Sabretooth offensively, like in all fairness. Um, so, yeah, and I, I like to think I have a, a pretty good wealth of information about the game. But, uh, yeah, so let's see what kept going on here. I don't see anything else from Mike written um, yet. Let's see here. So this was said, hey guys, can confirm that this is a bug, but we are discussing the course of action right now. We'll let you know what exactly needs to be fixed and how fast we can do it. So you should not be able to get to this many fury. So they actually did call it a bug, which I disagree with because the way his abilities and the way it's all written is not bugged. So should post this as an announcement, but should share it here too. Sabretooth has had a long-standing bug where players can maintain more Fury effects, then you should be able to. It dates in a bit his ability that he can get a maximum of 15 uh, permanent passive fury effects, regardless of the method of getting them. You should not be able to see this maximum. Disagree. We are working to get this fixed as soon as possible. This affects some of the videos that you may have seen where Sabertooth is able to achieve significantly more passive fury effects than intended. This bug may have been uh, well known to some of you, but it was never the intended case and the synergy just helped to bring it to light. The synergy was designed to extend Sabertooth's fully active state and not increase the, the runway for him to ramp up. So this definitely caused, um, so yeah, this, this is the, the real issue here because extremely interesting that there's all this hype built uh, around the CCP members, their awesome videos and showcasing the new synergy. Today we get Sabertooth crystals offered midway through the day. Command announcing the air nerfing Sabertooth. This is just, like, just to give you guys, we have, CCP has no bearing on any crystal sales, anything like that. We had no idea that these crystals were going to go live when we made our videos. Karate Mike said he recorded his videos like weeks ago, man. Like, we had no idea that Sabertooth Cavalry crystals were going out. I just want to make that abundantly clear. But it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting that these crystals go live a day after all those crazy Sabretooth videos go out, and then the next day they're talking about how this shouldn't be happening. That just seems very, very weird and not, not right. So, and then calling it a bug of all things, that's just, that doesn't sound too good. So let's keep reading here, let's see. 
I haven't read everything. I've only seen some screenshots sent to me by Alliance mates and stuff. So I want to see the official responses here. Let's see what else we got here. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Hey all, we're looking into another method to tackle this so it would not affect how you all know and play him uh, at this time. We'll have more information for you all soon. So just a little update. All right. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, it's just capping at 25 or 30. That's That way it's still good synergy, but nothing too game breaking considering the ramp up. That's something we're looking into. Doesn't feasibly change his base kit, and we're still making him super strong, just not broken strong. This is what I like to hear, man. This is this is great. Hopefully, that's what I was really hoping they would do. Like I said, Karate Mike suggested in the CCP that it should be like around 25, and uh, I agreed with him in that uh, directly. So. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what else, but now let's just go see the official. Okay, here it is. Is this the same one as this? We'll read both. So, uh, all right, everybody, we've read your feedback and thoughts, and we agree the solution that's been tossed around here. We're going to apply a cap of 25. At least we're still tuning on the amount of permanent passive fury effects that Sabretooth can have on him at, at a time. He can still gain fury buffs or furies from nodes, etc., but the permanent fury effects he receives from his kit will never exceed 25 or whatever number is settled on. It's a number that is feasibly higher than Sabretooth is capable of hitting with his base kit right now and still gives him potential to be a very potent attack of thoughts. So I saw this earlier. Let's see what people are saying. Ooh, what does this say? Uh, I always knew the CCP videos to be a catch. I think Synergy could use some cap without Sabretooth being changed, but if the key Sabretooth base kit, uh, a lot of people are going to be raging mad if you rank him for Synergy and have waited till it was released and fixed. Um, I think at 25, like that's, that's good. Uh, let's see what other people are saying. I think this is quite fair. While it's a shame we won't be able to hit like a tank on steroids, I can understand your reasoning. It's a nice change. It makes it uh, so older Sabretooth players aren't affected. Although this will be a significant drop from the original synergy, it would still be a useful thing to have. I appreciate the fairly quick response to the situation. So it seems like people are understanding. Uh, this feels like a new and improved Kabam. 30 sounds better to me. While you're in there, maybe give his regen a bump. It seems like people aren't really getting mad, which is good. And uh, it actually, Kabam, Mike, uh, or the MCC team, rather, decided to make it 30. So... Summoners, the following change to Sabretooth's kit is coming. Sabretooth will now have a cap of 30 permanent passive fury, passive fury effects at a time. You can still gain fury buffs or other fury effects from nodes or other interactions. The permanent fury effects he receives from the base kit will never exceed 30. So it's officially decided upon of as 30. So this information will be reflected under the persistent charge portion of his abilities. As sort of the fight, if Sabretooth has a persistent charge, he consumes one, reactivating up to 30 of his fury effects that were active at the end of his last fight as permanent passive fury effects. Uh, this number, this is a number that is feasibly higher than Sabretooth is capable of gaining with his base kit right now and still gives him potential to be a very potent attacker, especially with synergies. We do not have an ETA for this update yet, but we are working as fast as possible. So. The way this whole situation was handled, you know, at first calling it a bug and everything, I don't think, I don't think it should have been called a bug because I still don't even think it's bugged. But I think I understand that they don't want a character to have literally no cap on their damage output. There, there's not a character in the game that can just do infinite damage. There, there isn't one. Every character has some sort of cap. Now, back in the day, Star-Lord used to have infinite damage, but with 12.0, they gave him a cap as well. I think it's 400 combo, which is a ridiculous amount of t attack if you can get to a 400 hit combo with Star-Lord. And, you know, a fully rank ramped up rank 3 Proxima, ridiculous damage, a fully uh, ramped up Guillotine at like a 600 or 700 combo, whatever it goes to. Uh, again, ridiculous damage, but it has a cap. So I understand that they want to have a cap on damage. And that's understandable. But I think they should have just said outright, like, you know, we didn't intend for Sabretooth to be able to do 200,000 damage, you know, on a medium. So we're, we've decided to implement a cap on those Furies. And I think that just would have been a better way to go about it. And I think this is a really fair change. I think 30 permanent passive Fury effects is fair. He's still gonna be able to hit ridiculously hard with 30 permanent passive fury effects he's going to be 
on par with for damage wise with a fully ramped up Aegon. Uh, so yeah, that's great. And also with a 30 cap, you know, you won't have to waste a bunch of revive to try to get him to an 80 level of, of Furies or something like that, you know. With 30, like that's not that many revives uh, to build up to. And you don't even have to do it that way. You can just do it the legit way by going through fights, finishing fights, and then adding two more Furies. Or every time you die, add two more Furies. And you can get to 30 pretty reasonably. And I think he's still going to be an Abyss option at 30. You know, uh, definitely not as good as he was, but still an option. So, yeah, I think this is still a really, really good change for Sabretooth. It's going to make him still a great attacker, uh, just not as broken as he was. So, yeah, I, I think that overall, you know, I think this is a, a fair, a pretty good compromise. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Very interested to hear your guys' thoughts on everything. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're going to be getting Sasquatch, ranking your Sabretooth. If you plan on doing an Abyss run with Sabretooth, you know, let me know. Very interested to see that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Let me know if you guys think I should rank five my Sabretooth. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.